LNG TV, the official media channel partner for Gas Tech 2021. Well, joining me now is Patrick O'Driscoll, Director of Car Powership. Patrick, how have you, um, have you enjoyed Gas Tech? Gas Tech's been great. It's been a fun event. It's the first event I think everyone's come together, which has actually been exciting. Um, dialogues have been good. There's not been, it's not been too busy, which has also been nice that you've had more time to spend with people. And we've had a, we've had a, good, we've had a good event, a good week. For those that don't know, tell me a little bit more about Car Powership. Car Powership, well, people I'll always ask, what is it? Car Powership is what it is. It's a power ship that floats, obviously, and within it is an integrated standalone power, power plant that is mobile, it is modular, and it is flexible to the point where you can upsize, downsize, and you can change fuels. Everything that we do is gas ready. So when gas is available in some of our applications and projects, we've run and started on a liquid fuel but the migration now and the future is the change to gas through LNG. Through LNG. Yeah, we'll talk about that in, in just a moment, but in terms of the, the fleet that you have and where they operate, tell me a bit more about that. We're operating today across four continents. Uh, we have 30 power ships with some five, up to 5,000 megawatts, so five gigawatt of power, operating across those uh, four continents. Um, some new exciting projects uh, happening, such as uh, a recent award of uh, 1.2 gigawatts in South Africa, which we're working diligently through the process to get that to reach closure and uh, then into operation. But LNG for us is it's a new beginning. Um, people have known us to be a liquid fuel uh, player, but now with the introduction of the FSRUs, we've got Senegal deployed uh, with an FSRU aligned to the power ship, looking at downstream on bringing uh, on land-based power plants uh, and convert to getting them converted into LNG. So yeah, we, we're excited about LNG. It's going to be um, a core part of the business going, for, going forward. And do you mostly operate in emerging markets or what are the sort of, um, what's the standard? Predominantly if, it's... If there is a standard. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there a standard? Who needs electricity? Yeah. Well, I think globally everybody has their finger on the pulse today for... Um, but recently it's been more of the developing world. So, you know, Far East, Africa. But as we look towards what's happened recently, just in the last two weeks in Europe, uh, how constraint they're becoming uh, with electricity uh, the cost spiraling out of spiraling out of control with the cost of gas you go into the americas south america struggling brazil struggling with their hydro so you know we we see and being able to have the fleet that we've got readily available ready to deploy we're able to deploy in instant senegal 120 megawatts deployed and made operational in 58 days um, there's not many companies that I'm aware of out there that will actually be able to deliver that size uh, as quickly as that. So LNG is going to be obviously a very important fuel for the, you for the future. How does the next 12 months look like for Car Powership? 12, the next 12 months is going to be exciting. Um, some geographical growth, um, some projects that we're working through uh, as we speak. Um, people elsewhere in the world are driving those uh, hopefully across the finish line and they are going to be LNG uh, d driven from the outset. So no migration to LG, L LNG being the driver from, from day one. So um, I think the next 12 months for us is we've got a positive outlook. Um, electricity is a bigger requirement in a lot of these uh, emerging countries and countries that are coming out of the pandemic uh, and addressing some of the issues that they're, that they're facing today. How far in the future are you planning projects? Are they, you, you talk about being able to be operational within 50 something days. Are that, is that more normal for car powership or are you, are you really looking at five year, 10 year, um, putting together projects that are that long term? I, we take the whole, we take the whole, we take the whole bag basically. Um, we have the ability to be um, reactional, um, to deliver power of size and magnitude quickly. But we also have the foresight to look at the future markets. And one thing that LNG is doing for our business, LNG is driving size, 
in terms of larger megawatts, but it's also driving longevity. So projects are becoming longer. Does that mean that they start quicker? No, not necessarily. Infrastructure has to be put in place when you're doing LNG that's, that takes a little longer. So in general terms, we have the ability to respond immediately. But yes, we are looking at projects that will close 18 months, two years down the line. So there's a gestation period of us driving and tailoring and massaging and putting in place the process to be able to look forward two or three years to get to a closure in a project. How has the pandemic the last 18 months, how has that affected car power ship or has it affected, affected you guys? I mean, it's obviously affected the market. So what's that resulted in with your business? The pandemic did a few things. Uh, first of all, it got everybody locked down to stay at home. I wasn't on a flight week in, week out. Um, video conferencing obviously took, took a lot of time. Um, people took a long time to get into it. A lot of the developing world were there for video conferencing, but it was something new. It took a while to adapt, but everybody struggled through it. We got there. Um, the pandemic, I think it gave businesses time to reflect, um, readjust and look forward to when the pandemic was over and when the situation eased. Uh, car powership, we've been fortunate. We kept industry alive. We kept countries alit. Um, obviously, security of supply during a pandemic, such, such as hospitals, um, is, is critical. Um, you, can't, you don't want hospitals running on emergency generators. So having a, a good, solid security of supply during the pandemic for the healthcare sector was important. And I think Car Powership done that successfully across the developing world where we're located. Brilliant. Thank you so much for talking to us. Enjoy the rest of Gastech. Thank you very uh, much. Good luck with Car Powership. Thank you. It was a pleasure.